Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In today's video, I got a fun little thing to show you. It's the Express LRS Telemetry Widget. team working on Express LRS doesn't rest on the laurels. They've produced a really cool little widget that's got a couple of different modes and it provides all kinds of useful information from Express LRS over telemetry. And I'm going to cover how to install the widget and the values that you see on the screen and what they mean. So let's jump right in. To begin with, you can see that I've got a full screen widget set up right now. And the way you go into full screen, by the way, if you're not familiar with it, is from a widget page where you have the widget set up, you simply press on the screen press long press on the screen and you'll see this full screen option pop up and that puts you in full screen mode. Now, the reason I'm pointing that out right out of the gate is because you'll notice on this widget, I've got 10 satellites and an altitude of 101 feet and a speed of zero. That's because I've got my express LRS receiver and my crossfire to PWM converter with the voltage current and GPS information coming off that Matex CRSF to PWM dash C 10 channel converter. So that's how I'm getting all of this data. So I'll run through the other values, but I wanted to show you that you go into full screen mode and those are the modes that add the satellite count, the altitude and the speed. One of the things that's very cool about this widget is it's got various display options depending on how you carve up the screen using your widget setup page. So if you have a full screen, it looks like this with this big range circle in the middle. And then if you use a version where you've got one side full and the other side cut in half, there are two other presentation modes that they have available. So this one takes up one half the screen. This one takes up one quarter of the screen. We'll jump over to the full screen widget to give you an idea of the data that's displayed and what it means. You can see at the top of the screen, my ELRS transmitter is set at 100 Hertz full and the status is connected. The next option is transmit power. That's down here on the bottom right. And right now it says 25 milliwatts. I put my transmit power on a switch. I'll show you what that looks like when we run the transmit power up to full. And also watch the little bar here on the side and watch the range meter. I'll explain the range meter in a minute, but watch what happens when I click my transmit power up to a full one watt. So there we go, the red bar jumps all the way up to the side. And then of course my range uh, consumption went much lower. It's only at like 16, 15% now. So that's a pretty cool little graphical indicator of what happens when you kick your transmit power up from the floor, in my case, 25 milliwatts all the way up to one watt. A real quick note on range, it's an estimation of the model's distance based on RSSI, and it uses a value of between negative 50 and the sensitivity level of your packet rate. You can find your packet rate really easy. Just press the system button and press Express LRS, and there's your packet rate, and your sensitivity level is right there, negative 112. In the case of this setup, my range should be represented by a percentage of the dBm between negative 50 and negative 112. So that's about a 62 dBm spread. So if I were to see, say, a value of negative 80, I'd expect the range to be at about 50%. Keep in mind that your radio will adjust dynamic power. So when that happens, your RSSI will increase. It'll improve. So your range can change based on a power increase as well. Just keep that in mind. The next values presented is RSSI in the form of DBM. So notice I've got values of negative 76 and negative 80. And you might notice that the colors bounce back and forth. That's because I'm running a diversity receiver. This is the R24D. And as one signal picks up, the signal or the color and the indicator will move from antenna to antenna. These color changes indicate which antenna is being used. Next up is link quality, and you can see I'm close to 100%, and I see minor fluctuations down to 99. There's one. So that gives you an idea of what's going on in terms of link quality. The next option you've got is your receiver battery, and notice they've got 6S and 3.8 volts. That 3.8 is a calculated value. I do not have per cell center data coming in, so they're calculating that based on the fact that they know it's a 6S battery. So that's your battery voltage. And then you also get current if you're using a device that supplies current. In my case, I'm using the Matex CRSF to PWM-C. So that one does provide current. And then finally, I mentioned if you're in full screen mode, you also get a little bit of GPS data. So you'll get satellite counts. In my case, it's 13 with an altitude of 105 and a speed of zero. Finally, if you disconnect your battery and you have a functional GPS, it'll provide your last GPS location on the screen. Of course, in my case, this will be redacted for the video because I don't want to show where I live on YouTube. Okay, let's walk through how to install this widget on your Edge TX radio. We'll start by going to the Express LRS GitHub, and there's a link on their GitHub for ELRS telemetry widget. It's right here. And when you click on that, 
Don't worry, I'll put the links in the description so you don't have to memorize it or try and write it down. I'll have it in the description for you. But once you find the telemetry widget, you'll click on the file over here on the right hand side and that will take you to the download section and under assets, you wanna grab the latest asset. As of this video, the latest asset is July 13th, 2022. So we'll click on that zip file and download it. And once it's downloaded, we'll go ahead and open it up. And with the zip file downloaded, we'll go to the radio and connect our USB-C cable to the top of the radio. And on the screen, you'll be presented with three options. You'll want to click the middle one that says USB storage. And on your computer screen, you should have a couple of screens that pop up that offer you the ability to write information to your SD card. Remember, we don't care about the one that has firmware bin and text, so just close that. And that'll leave us with the SD card structure on the radio. Now we just grab this widget folder and drag it right over to our SD card and let it go. And it says it's already got a file called main Lua in place. Do I want to replace that? We'll say yes. So I'll click replace and that'll do it. That installs the widget on the radio. From there, we'll disconnect the USB-C cable from the top of the radio. And then we'll go into our widget setup page. I've already got a blank page set up. I'm using page number four for the blank. So page number four. Remember in the first half of the video, I mentioned that the widget has multiple layouts and those layouts depend on the layout options you choose on your widget setup. So if you want a full screen, you click the layout screen button and then go down to full screen and then turn off all this other stuff, flight mode, sliders, trims, you really don't need that on this type of widget and then hit setup widgets. And when you do that, you'll be presented with a blank screen. From there, you just click and hit select widget and you should see on the very bottom ELRS Telem right there. So we'll click on that. Uh, transparency, you can play around with different values. I've just left, my, left mine on two. And there we go. We've got our widget. In order for data to populate on this widget, you do need to power up a receiver and make sure it's bound and gets connection to the radio. And then once you do that, you should see the widget populate data. So I'll go over to page four and there we go. It popped in because I've got telemetry now and you can see I've got signal, link quality, current, battery, and milliwatt. So it's all there. It just populates automatically once you connect a receiver. All right, that's all I've got on the Express LRS telemetry widget. I hope you found the information useful. And if you did, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. I'd like to say thanks to the Express LRS team for making this very cool and helpful widget for Express LRS available. Go download it and try it out for yourself. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and go fly something. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.